So a quick video on the James Duff Techie eight inch center console. Like this a lot, it's uh, very well made. It uh, did not install quite as easy as I had hoped, but with a few modifications, it'll work well for an early Bronco. This is a 71. <clears throat> so uh, I was thinking it would just bolt right in but that's not exactly the case I'll just show you what I did it may save you a couple trips to Lowe's the first thing is uh, you have to move up this drink holder I moved it up so that it was about halfway up the front here and drilled a couple of new holes and just used some uh, quarter inch bolts so that's one thing you need to do that there are some threaded bolts down here to use but they're too low and I'll show you why. One last point, my armrest did not come like this. My Boykin puppy decided to chew on it when I wasn't looking, so. Overall, really nice quality. I think it's made in the US. Uh, super quality. The lid is really nice. I bought a Smitty built one for my Jeep and it was awful. It was only a hundred bucks, but it it wasn't worth the box it came in. So if you can afford it, spend a little extra, get this one. It's nice as the, uh, the lock will turn without a key. It's a combination lock. And uh, you'll really be glad you spent the money. So this is what I did uh, to mount it. You have your seat belt bolts that prevent it from mounting flat on the floor. And they're about three quarters of an inch tall. So I just got some one inch thick uh, decking board that I had laying around. And uh, cut it 12 inches long and put it right between the, um, the bolts there. There's also a, a Phillips uh, screw here, machine screw. I'm not sure what that goes to, but anyway, it falls right there perfectly. And if you do it 12 inches, it'll it'll leave this uh, opening available to run wiring and that type of stuff, which I'm gonna do for the switches. It comes with a, a an angled bracket for the back that extends down like three inches, but uh, you don't need that for an uh, early Bronco. So this is what the bolts look like from the bottom. So this is the console in the truck. And here's why you need to move the front drink holder up. And you can see it. Uh, so basically it's just barely touches the transmission pump there. And so what I did, it came with three mounting holes, but I used the first one. And then I drilled another one uh, about four inches back. I'm just gonna do two. The, uh, the back holes would actually uh, fall in the middle of a cross member brace that you don't really want to mess with. So I mounted the console as far to the driver's seat as I could, uh, just leaving a little gap there because you have the, your, your uh, folding bracket here, a folding lever for your passenger seat. So you need to kind of offset it to the driver's side 